Number five, the curve y equals a quarter x to the fourth minus two x cubed plus one is best represented by a, b, c, or d. Now we'll differentiate this a couple of times. Let's have a look at it. That should give us some information about the curves. So do y dx equals the four comes down, cancels that four, so it becomes x cubed. The three comes down, cancels the three, so that's minus 2x squared. Okay, now we'll di differentiate that again. And we get 3x squared minus 4x. We'll let the y dx equal naught. We'll let the y dx equal 0. And we get x cubed into x, sorry, x squared into x minus 2 equals naught. So x equals 0 or x equals 2. That means there's two stationary points. Well, that gets rid of a because there's 3 there, so that's no good. Now, when we put in uh, 0 um, uh, back in the original function, we get it's going to be 0, 1. 0, 1. Now, when we put 0 back into here, the second derivative, we actually get zero, so we suspect this is going to be a horizontal point of inflection, which of course will give us, well, that doesn't give us much information at all, does it, because all these are horizontal points of inflection here. Okay, so we have to look at the other point, two, when x equals two, what is y equal? So y equals one quarter times two to the fourth minus two thirds times 2 cubed plus 1. Okay, and that all comes out to minus a third. So we have a stationary point at 2 minus a third. And so let's have a look. Uh, can't be this one. There's 2, it's going to be up here somewhere. Certainly can't be this one. So it has to be this one. There's 2 minus a third there. There's your stationary point and your horizontal point inflection. So the answer was C.